going to be going on. Okay. On. Call the meeting of the City Council for Monday evening, March 25th, 2019 to order. Please stand as we salute our American flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councilors. Good evening, Mr. And, President. And good evening, guest. Believe it or not, we're back home. So it's a great uh, it's a great evening here for all of us as city councilors and for all of those that are here this evening as we have some business to to tend to. So please excuse the fact we were away for a while, um, but it is uh, it's been months. taken care of. And that was the uh, uh, God bless her. We all cried like that one time. I hope. Um, <laughs> And, and we're away because our elevator was down up. But just before we do begin, I just want to just quickly, just quickly, just quickly give a great big thank you to those that were involved in, in tending to all the businesses been tended to the last uh, several weeks, several months, I should say. Uh, the elevator, which came under our building superintendent and his staff, uh, Jim Kassiri, is here this evening, and uh, um, I, I think he's done an outstanding job. staff and his assistant April and of course our maintenance department Brian Matter and, and others that yes. work under him all did a great great job in these last few weeks putting everything back into place and as, as you can see coming into the hall tonight the, uh, the place is all sort of like dolled up for us so that was very good to see. I do also want to take time to thank uh, the mayor, Mayor Carpenter and he worked uh, as well with I and the city clerk and with the BCA Mark Lindy and his staff to make sure that we'd have new cameras, new microphones, uh, we've got a couple other new TVs that have been in place. Um, it, it, it's something that we've been waiting for. And I think, I believe, we're finally back on TV this evening. And the reception is going to be much clearer and, and much brighter. And I, I hope I look as good as I always did before, but I don't know. But whatever, uh, at least the people at home are going to appreciate the fact that, that it's, a, it's, it's a different view. So we, uh, we definitely want to thank them as, as, as well. So, you know, with that all being said, um, again, it's great to it's great to be here and uh, and welcome again to all of you. So, uh, Mr. Clerk, if you want to take the first item, we have the acceptance of the minutes of the March 11, 2019 City Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Mr. President, I, late <coughs> I want to make uh, two motions. A motion to accept the late file. Second. Second. Motion been made and seconded to accept the late file. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'd Those also like to. Uh, Councilor. Nobody's opposed on that. I'd also like to make a, a motion to uh, suspend the rules and act on it tonight. Second. 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 Motion been made and seconded that we suspend the rules and act on them uh, this evening. And uh, Robin, I believe you have the uh, the list there for the um, the other screen. President, I'd also like to make a motion to take it collectively. Second. Second. Yeah. second. Motion been made and seconded to take collectively. All in favor of that? Okay. Opposed? Taken collectively. All set, Robin? Yep. The appointment of Michael Gomes as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2020. An appointment of Jonathan Drain as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2020. Right appointment of Adilson Andre as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2020. Appointment of Darnell Campbell as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2020. Appointment of Alicia Fernandez as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one year term ending January 2020. And now the appointment will come by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Asak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Barrencourt? Yes. Mary? Yes. Harwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Yes. Sullivan? Yes. It's nine Mr. President, I make a motion for reconsideration. Second. This does not prevail. Motion has been ma second. made and seconded for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Those appointments have been made. appreciate you wanting to serve and wanting to work for the city of Brockton and for the school department and I know you're doing an outstanding job so best best of luck to all of you thank you appreciate it very much I, uh, before we go on to the next item I just want to make a mention um, that I should have mentioned uh, at the beginning I do want to um, and 
introduce to us, to you, our new Ward 4 City Council, Susan McCastro, and our new City Council at Large, Jean Derencourt, because this is the first time that they've had a chance to actually sit here and do the work as a council. They've been doing the work as, a, as councils, believe me, they've been doing work, but I want, to, I want to say that this is their first opportunity of really sitting behind their desk. So welcome. Filling in for the city council president who is who was away. I was council president last year. I did not have the opportunity to be at this particular stand for the year, but that's okay. I've been here before and, and I accept that. <laughs> but I do want to indicate that uh, Council Rodriguez will be back uh, in town later uh, later this week. And mm -hmm. Council Monahan did contact me and he is not feeling well, that's why he's not here. Okay. Council Cruz. Mr. President, I make a motion we take items two through 12 collectively second. and under suspension of the rules second. on them this evening. Second. We made and seconded to take items two through 12 collectively and suspend the rules and act on them also this evening. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Madam Clerk? Appointment of Carlos Stepina to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Wesley R. Dwyer to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Alexander J. Fontes to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Miles Chatier to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of McGregor June to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Brian T. Gray to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Ryan P. Gagney to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Arthur J. Ford to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Matthew W. Maloney to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. Appointment of Daniel E. Lang to the rank of firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. And an appointment of William F. McNamara to the rank of fighter, firefighter in the Brockton Fire Department. And before I take the vote, I do want to have uh, the lieutenant come up, Lieutenant Solomon, if you could come up. Chief Williams had a previous engagement, so he couldn't be here this evening, so the lieutenant stepped in for him. He just wants to make a quick comment in regards to these uh, fine, uh, fine gentlemen that are That's coming great. on board. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. As always, it's a good night, a happy night for the fire department when our family gets bigger. And um, <laughs> these 11 candidates, they've earned the top scores on a firefighter entry level civil service exam this year, or last year. Um, I'm happy to say there's seven veterans, four uh, civilians. Um, they've gone through an extensive background check, PAT test, interview process. They're all Brockton residents. Um, look forward to working with them. I wish them the best of luck. Um, they're filling spots that were created due to uh, retirements. They're not new spots, but we are putting a dent in that. So I'm just happy to be here representing Chief Williams, and I want to thank you for your continued support. Thank you. Thank you, thank Lieutenant. You. It's time the questions on an appointment. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Derrickport? Yes. Yes. Barwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Castro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Not in the affirmative. And the appointments are confirmed. Make a motion for reconsideration. Second. And hope Second. It does not prevail. The motion has been made for reconsideration and hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed of reconciliation? Our reconsideration? <laughs> <laughs> reconsideration fails. Okay. Fine, fine job. We welcome you here to the city of Brockton. I'm sure you'll make us very proud in the academy, and I know you'll make us proud as you come back out and serve the, the city of Brockton and to keep us safe, and I know you'll be a, a part of us for a good, good many years. I may not be here when you grow to be my age, but uh, God bless all of you and, and keep up the good work and you do a good job. So congratulations to all of you and also to our five special police officers uh, on the school police uh, department as well. This time we're just going to take a five minute recess so then that way you can talk and you can uh, depart at that time. 
Call the meeting of the city council back into order. Ms. Pr Ms. President. Councilor uh, just, Cruz. Just a brief moment of personal privilege. I just want to let the people at home know that that was Deputy Chief Solomon representing the, the chief, not uh, Lieutenant Solomon. So. I'm sorry. Oh, Deputy that's Chief. Okay. Just, and he I was at one point so. a lieutenant, so that's okay. That's but he is Deputy Chief now. I just wanted the people at home to know that. Uh -oh. That he didn't get demoted. So thank you. He, he did give me his card, but it's in my overcoat. And <laughs> thank, thank you, you Mr. President. Thank you. Um, next item will be uh, reports. reports. Yep. Report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of March 14, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of March 8, 2019. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Director of Information Technology requested an appropriation of $20,000 from Information Technology full time to Information Technology overtime. This transfer is necessary to cover unexpected overtime costs due to a staff member being called for active duty. Oh, Except wow. and placed on file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. Except and placed on file. A communication from the CFO relative to the same. Except and placed on file. We have a communication from the director of the Council on Aging requesting the acceptance of the total <coughs> grant, any amount of $174,189.43 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs, Fiscal 19 Formula Grant to City of Brockton, Council on Aging, Fiscal 19 Formula oh. Grant Fund. The so funds will be dispersed in the following manner. Salaries including overtime, energy, department equipment, repairs, printing, office supplies, registration, memberships, and subscriptions. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the district treasurer of the Southeastern Regional School District in accordance with the provisions of Chapter 489, Acts of 1963, as amended, and Section 16B, Chapter 71 of the General Laws, as amended January 2nd, 1982, and in consideration of the vote and action of the Southeastern Regional School District Committee as of March 12, 2019, whereby the budget for fiscal year 2020 was approved, certifying that the amount to be apportioned to the City of Brockton for share of capital and operating costs of the Southeastern Regional School District for the fiscal year period beginning July 1, 2019 is $4,051,342. The assessment is to be paid in four equal quarterly installments due September 1, 2019, December 1, 2019, March 1, 2020, and June 1, 2020. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> we have an ordinance, <coughs> Chapter 14, Offenses Miscellaneous, Section 14-49, Panhandling, and Council March 11, 2019, passed to the third reading, is amended by a hand vote, and City Council July 23, 2018, Read and referred to Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable as amended. In Council March 11, 2019, the amendment passed by a hand vote. Passed to a third reading as amended by a hand vote. Questions on ordination as amended by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Asap? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darincourt? Yes. Enieri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The ordinance is ordained. An ordinance amending chapter two of the revised ordinances be it hereby ordered that an ordinance amending chapter two of the revised ordinances dated February 12, 2018 be amended by inserting G at the beginning <laughs> of the text whereby the entirety of said an ordinance amending chapter two of the revised ordinances shall be a continuation of article 13. Section 11-211 shall be inserted into section 11-211 is subsection G to continue after subsection F relative to Article 13, Motor Vehicle Repair. In City Council, March 11, 2019, passed to a third reading by hand vote. In Council, November 13, 2018, read and referred to Standing Committee on Ordinances. That report was favorable. In City Council, March 11, 2019, passed to a third reading by a hand vote. Questions, <coughs> excuse me, questions on ordination by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? No. Cru uh, Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? No. Darincourt? Yes. Ianieri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? No. DeCastro? Yes. 
Sullivan? Yes. That's six in the affirmative, three in the negative. The uh, <coughs> ordinance is ordained. And ordinance amending chapter two, the revised ordinances dated February 12, 2018, the revised second entitled amendment to delete the reference in the first line to section 11-211 and insert in its place section 11-214. In City Council, March 11, 2019, passed to a third reading by a hand vote. In Council, November 13, 2018, ready to refer the Standing Justice. Committee on Ordinance. That report was favorable. In City Council, March 11, 2019, passed to a third reading on. by a hand vote. President. Council Sullivan? As chairman of the ordinance committee, I just for the life of me can't remember what this was, which, what this is about. Um, if legislative council could just give us a quick summary. The, it, it's a Scribner's error. Okay. One of the ones that was submitted references the wrong section. That's right. So you okay. switch it from section um, 211 to 214. That's right, a Scribner's error. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome. Questions on ordination by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? No. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Enieri? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's eight in the affirmative, one in the negative. The ordinance is ordained. Mr. Mr. President. Councilor Farwell. With respect to 23 and 24, I move reconsideration in the hope that it does not prevail. Second. Motion been made and seconded for reconsideration, hopes it does not prevail on items 23 and 24. All in favor? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. We have the petition of LNL Auto Repair, Armando Mendes of 17 Middle Avenue, Braintree, for a motor vehicle repair body license located at 12 Riverside Avenue, Brockton, in Council March 11, 2019, postponed to the next City Council meeting, in City Council December 27, 2018, postponed to January 14, 2019, meeting by a hand vote, in Council January 14, 2019, hearing held, referred to public safety by hand vote, in City Council February 25th, 2019, postponed to the next meeting by hand vote, in City Council March 11th, 2019, postponed to the next meeting by a hand vote. Councilman Castro, any discussion would be open to that, please. Um, I thank you, and Mr. Mendez is here this evening. And he and I have, have agreed to some conditions. I can give them to you. Okay. Okay. You can read them if you like yeah. the stipulation. You want me yeah. to read them? Sure. Yeah, just okay. read them. Yep. All right. These are conditions to the motor vehicle repair license at 12 Riverside Avenue. The business hours of operation, 8 o'clock a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. Saturday, closed Sundays and all legal holidays. Number two, the business hours of operation will be posted on the building exterior using minimum of two inch high letters. Number three, all outside storage of auto parts and or debris is prohibited. Number four, all outside storage of vehicles is prohibited after the hours of operation listed above. Number five, all vehicles associated with this business must be parked off street. Number six, all vehicle repair work must be undertaken inside the garage. Seven, parking spaces shown on parking plan submitted with application must be on a paved surface, size nine foot by 20 foot, and properly striped with four inch wide stripes including cross hash sections. Number eight, four of the parking spaces shown on the plan must be marked as dedicated solely for use by occupants of the two apartment dwellings on the property. Nine, no bonding or painting of vehicles will be performed on site. 10. No wrecked, damaged, or dismantled motor vehicles or parts thereof will be placed or stored outside at any time. 11, any outside dumpster will be properly fenced per the ordinance and or state law. 12, vending machines will not be placed outside the building. 13, the property owner must obtain and maintain a garage license, and the applicant <coughs> and property owner must provide a copy of the current lease of the garage and outside parking area of the property. In the event that the lease is not provided or it lapses or is not extended for any reason, this license will forthwith become null and void. 14, subject to the provisions of revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, including without limitation Article 8 thereof. That's it. All set? Yes. Okay. Okay. So now, now the question is going to be on granting with the stipulations by a hand vote. All in favor? 
opposed? It has been granted in with the stipulations and you know what they are, okay? Right, thank, Very you. Good. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Okay, okay. We have the appointment of Daniel L. Branch of 32 DuPont Circle, Brockton, for the Brockton Community Access Board of Directors for a term of three years Anybody in Council plans? March 11, 2019. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Asak? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Barrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Castro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. An appropriation in the amount of $400,000 from full-time salaries to police overtime. Favorable is amended in Council March 11, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable as amended. The amendment was from appropriation to transfer due to a Scrivener's error. By hand vote, the question is on the amendment. All in favor? Opposed? The amendment is accepted. The question is now ad adopt. The question is on adoption as amended by a roll call. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Order that the Brockton City Council, acting on behalf of the City of Brockton, for consideration of $1 does hereby grant an easement to the Mass Electric Company, a Massachusetts corporation, having its principal office at 40 Selvan Road, Waltham, Mass, for purpose of unrestricted 24 hours a day, seven days a week, year round, ingress and egress by persons, equipment, or vehicles of various loads from the public way to access Grantee's electric facilities, whether now existing or hereafter installed, located on certain real property abutting the grantor's land which abutting real property is known as Zero West Elm Street, Brockton, Massachusetts, and identified as Brockton Assessor's Parcel ID 091-004 to provide electric service to set abutting real property and others, and further that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to execute the grant of easement and to make other actions necessary to carry out the terms purposes and conditions of the same. In Council March 11, 2019, ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance, that report was favorable. Question on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. Vote. President, move for reconsideration of the second. vote that does not prevail. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration. Does not hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Resolved to invite Captain John Hallisey, the chair of the Tractor Commission, to discuss with the City Council the situation with illegally parked cars on residential streets and as to why during the light, latest storm that enough was not done to address this issue and why when contacting the police a non-emergency number, residents were told that at times supervisors were not available. End Council March 11, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved to invite Matthew Dyer, representative of urban and community forestry again, to inform the public about the free trees program that will begin in the, uh, in the spring. End Council March 11, 2019. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Castro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. <clears throat> order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Alexandra's Way, extending from West Chestnut Street southerly a distance of 765.71 feet, more or less. And for that purpose, it's necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said city of Brockton. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
you done okay? Okay. Okay, refer to finance and planning. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Rachel's Way extending from Alexandra's Way, southwesterly and southeasterly, a distance of 647.28 feet more or less to Alexandra's Way, and for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said city of Brockton. Refer to uh, the Committee on Finance and Planning. We have a total appropriation of $20,000 from information technology full time to information technology overtime. Refer to finance. We have a total grant award in the amount of $174,189.43 from Executive Office of Elder Affairs, Fiscal 19 Formula Grant to City of Brockton Council and Aging, Fiscal 19 Formula Grant Fund. Refer to finance. Council Beauregard. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I have three late files. We need a motion to accept. Uh, Second. Second. There are three late files that the clerk has. All in favor of that? Opposed? Thank you. The clerk will read them. We have a communication from the Chief of Police Department request an authorization to expend additional grant monies any amount of $6,240.03 received through fiscal 19 <laughs> traffic enforcement and equipment. T&E grant program funds from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Division. Refer to the Committee on Finance. We also have a communication on that from the Mayor recommending it. We have a communication from the CFO relative to that. Accept and replace on file for them. We have a communication from the Chief of Police Department requesting authorization to expend additional grant monies any amount of $98,000 $938 received through the Executive Office of Health and Human Services Fiscal 19 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant. Refer to the Committee on Finance. We have a communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Move to accept them and place them on file. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. It's moved and placed and accepted on file as well. We have an acceptance <coughs> and expenditures of total grant funds any amount of $6,243 and three cents from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Fiscal 19 Traffic Enforcement Equipment Grant Program, the City of Brockton Police Department Fiscal 19 Traffic Enforcement and Equipment Grant Program Fund. You can refer to that. You can have a look for one of that. That goes to finance as well. Okay. We have the accepted expenditures of additional grant funds in the amount of $98,938 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services Fiscal 19 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department Fiscal 19 Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant Fund. And I would send that to finance as well. Okay. Order that the City of Brockton grants to 28 personnel uh, Petronelli LLC and an easement over Petronelli Way, formerly Ward Street, to maintain the existing balconies so long as the balconies exist on the premises known as 28 Petronelli Way, Brockton. And further, that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to execute the grant of easement and agreement and to take other action as necessary to carry out the terms, purposes, and conditions of the same. And that, <coughs> that will go, on, go to the uh, Committee on uh, Real Estate. That will move to, to all these items on the agenda are available in the, their entirety for review in the city clerk's office for all interested parties. Any uh, Council Sullivan? Mr. President, moment of personal privilege. Yes, you may. I just want to remind everybody, the Ordinance Committee uh, will be meeting Wednesday, April 3rd, here in the chamber, 6 p.m. We have one agenda item. Thank you. That's uh, next this Wednesday? Or? No, week from. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It's a week from Wednesday, right here. Okay, any... Uh, Council Cruz. Thank you. Just a moment of personal privilege. I just wanted to uh, thank John Marion and the uh, Downtown Business Association this set, past Saturday night. They did a great job with the Winter's End Ball, uh, and it truly was a Winter's End Ball. There's snow on the ground in the morning, so. Um, and uh, just wanted to mention the family of uh, Kyle Landholm received on his behalf the uh, James Edgar Award, and which was a great Great fitting tribute to uh, Kyle's work in the city and uh, after his recent passing. And the Grand Marshal of the par uh, parade also received an award, Vinnie Macrina, who
who did a great job. So I just want to thank the Downtown Business Association. It was a great night and great event. So yeah. thank you. Job well done to them as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I was going to say something myself and I forgot. But um, oh, I just want to mention to your counselors um, where you're sitting, if you see if there's anything underneath that doesn't belong to you in that desk area, you can pull it out and leave it on top of your blotter and they will uh, uh, come around and they will take it and they will um, you know, throw it away, dispose of it. And I would just ask that when you, you know, are in the committee room that, you know, take your mail with you at night, not to leave it on the table. I don't think that, um, you know, we want to make a mess of what's been cleaned up because, you know, the clerk, I, and, and Jimmy Kassiri worked, you know, feverishly to get that, get that done. And I, I don't know, Tony, I think you can, you want to keep that as a souvenir or do you want to just, uh, it says <laughs> elevators out of service, so I don't know if maybe you want to just keep that one <laughs> Hide it though, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what? Maybe we'll put and that. I, and, I, and I'll turn, and I'll reverse my life. Hopefully, we won't have to go through right, that. We'll but you know, that in the corner somewhere. We'll leave that alone. But in any case, uh, anything else to come before this uh, committee this evening, this council? Seeing none, meeting adjourned. <laughs>